Hi, this is Maddie. Have you ever wanted to improve your commu communication skills during your speech? Well, I'm here today to tell you how to do that such thing. I'm doing this because I want to share some tips and tricks I learned from my first week in public speaking class. Why am I credible? Because I've watched week-long videos and articles about how to give an effective speech and how to draw your audience in. My three main points I'm going to discuss for this speech is how to find your research to appeal to your audience, the speech communication process, and how to speak so that your audience wants to actually listen to you. First off, finding research. So you start with your audience. Say they want to learn about horses or dogs, then you research about horses or dogs. What would your audience want, expect from you? Well, they hear that your speech is about dogs and cats. Well, they want to hear about dogs and cats. And what types of research what they think are appropriate for your topic like yours. Like I said, dogs and cats, then you're going to give extensive research for your speech. Your topic. Um, are your topics, your subtopics relevant to your topic that you're going to discuss? And how are these um, associations about your topic related back to your topic? And some things I think everyone knows ethos, pathos, and logos. Ethos pretty much depends on your personal character or of your speaker. Pathos is putting your audience within a frame. And logos is proof or apparent proof provided by the words or the speech itself. Seven elements I learned is the speaker, the message, the channel, the feedback, the listener, the inferences, and the situation. First off, speaker. Who is, presents, who is presenting this oral message to the listeners, the audience? Your message, whatever you, the speaker is trying to communicate to your audience. The channel, the means by which a message is communicated. Listener, a person who receives the uh, spe speaker's message. Feedback, messages, usually non-verbal, sent from listener to listener. Inferences, anything that impedes the communication within the audience. And the last one is situation. Time and place where you're going to perform your speech. The next one, the next point I want to discuss is how to speak so the person wants to listen to you rather than just walking away or going on their phone or just twiddling their thumbs. The seven, I learned from the TED Talk, seven deadly sins of speaking. The first one is gossip. Speaking ill of somebody who's not present. Basically talking behind someone's back. I think everyone knows that from high school. It comes back to bite you in the butt. Judging. Everybody has a hard time with this concept and it's very hard to listen to somebody when they're judging who's in the audience. Third, negativity. Complaining, uh, viral misery. The fourth one is excuses. Um, someone that doesn't take their actions on doesn't take responsibility of their actions, just gives a number of excuses. Uh, dogmat dogmatism is confusion of facts or opinions. You don't know from the facts or opinions, so you just mesh them all together and it gets to be a big mess. Uh, exaggeration or lying. Uh, you don't want a speaker to exaggerate like, for example, oh my god, I had a million text messages today. Well, you didn't really have a million. Maybe you had ten. So just the exaggeration. Just tone it down a little bit. Uh, things to avoid would be these things. These these seven cons. These seven deadly sins of speaking would be some to avoid. And then I learned also hail, honesty and authenticity. Integrity and love. Honesty. Being straight with one another. Uh, just being an honest person. Authenticity. Just being yourself. Uh, genuine. Authentic. Integrity. Uh, be, be your word. Being that you stick to your word and you don't lie. Love is wish them all. 
So just to recap all my points, uh, finding research, just starting with your audience and what your audience wants to expect of you and just re relating back to your topic, uh, what you discussed earlier in your, earlier in your speech, uh, the speech communication pro process, uh, the seven elements I discussed, the speaker, message, channel, listener, feedback, interference, and situation. Uh, and then the TED Talk, I learned about how to speak in front of people so they want to listen to you. Uh, the seven deadly sins, um, some of them were judging, exaggeration, lying, just things to avoid when you're speaking to a large audience. And then HAIL, just the acronym, honesty, and authenticity, integrity, and, and love. Thank you for listening.